Hello everyone. Gaguego Scano, Age Jango at Gaguego, Jotihuaje Otquinonio. On Monday, we celebrated the Seneca Nation's annual President's Day holiday. I want to thank and recognize all our Senecas who've held the nation's highest office since 1848 for their leadership, their service, and tireless work in advancing the Seneca Nation over the past 173 years. Looking at this week's COVID report, we again have only one current case in our community. Of course, we cannot and will not completely let our guard down, especially with the different variants of the virus being confirmed in our area. If you haven't done so yet, please make your COVID vaccine appointment today. The vaccine is available for people aged 12 and older through our Seneca Nation Health System. To make an appointment, call Terry Cowles at Allegheny Health, 945-5894, or Kim Bradley, Cataragas Health, 532-5582, or complete the online form at SenecaHealth.org backslash vaccine. As part of the federal government's response to the COVID pandemic, various funding programs have been established to communities to respond to the economic challenges in the past several months. We were pleased to learn this week that the Seneca Nation Economic Development Company was awarded a $1 million grant through the U.S. Treasury's Community Development Financial Institutions Fund. The funds will expand SNIDEX work, supporting small business and extending development loans for our nation members. Small business started by Seneca people have been the cornerstone of our nation. This funding, which was announced by Congressman Higgins, will not only help more Seneca businesses address the economic challenges brought on by the pandemic, but are also going to provide opportunities for business development and growth. On a larger scale, the federal government passed the American Rescue Plan Act earlier this year to provide governments, including Native Nations, direct funding to mitigate the impacts of the COVID pandemic. The Seneca Nation has been designated an initial allocation under the American Rescue Plan with a second allocation expected in the immediate future. The funding under the federal plan is intended to address COVID-related expenses from March of 2021 through December of 2024. The law stipulates specific areas on which these funds can be spent. In keeping with the law, the nation sees opportunities with initiatives like assistance to households, broadband infrastructure, water and sewer infrastructure, housing initiatives, investments in IT security, and emergency readiness. The nation is working to send out a mailing in the coming days with a survey asking for community input on other needs that may be allowable under the American Rescue Plan. Please keep an eye out for this mailing. This pandemic has been generational, and we want to make sure that our recovery continues and the nation and our people, our Seneca community, are as strong and prepared as possible moving forward. In other community news, there will be a special council session Friday, June the 25th at 10 a.m. in the William Seneca building. Attendance will be both in person and virtual. If you would like to register for the virtual participation, as always, please send an email to sngotome at sni.org with your name, nation ID number, phone number, and the meeting date. Before I close, I want to give a special shout out to our Seneca athletes and coaches this year. After a year off due to the Rona, our coaches and athletes came out and shined like no other. Jago on an outstanding season. Finally, let me wish a very happy Father's Day to all us dads out there. There's no more important or rewarding job we can or ever will have. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe, stay strong. Donnie Hoodie 8. Be sure to follow our Seneca Media Facebook page and our Twitter at The Seneca Nation to get updates on our efforts for the community. For current COVID numbers and statistics, be sure to check out our Coronavirus Response Hub on SNI.org.